Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are located in Tampa, Florida today. We are doing a hoard. I did not see the before picture, so I had no idea what to expect. I am covered up to my waist in fleas after three steps into the door. It's just a lot of garbage, a lot of obvious garbage. Uh, if you look over in the living room, it's a lot of McDonald's. If you go down this way and all through the house, you'll actually see uh, animal fecal matter. Um, there's clothes, clothing piles here and there. Um, but a lot of it is just, this is just the look of overwhelm. Um, something tragic happens and, you know, they can't handle it. Um, the client said that her father had two strokes and her dogs were sick and dying, so that's kind of, that, that is extremely obvious with somebody who just, who can't handle it, who can't handle the overstress. Going to a bio slash like a whore, I guess you could say. Yeah, I have uh, cats and they messed up. They messed up the floor in the room. You can see a cat pee um, on the furniture and stuff. And, and in his bathroom, uh, you can see where the cat pee all over everything. That smell is strong. Like I smelled it from when I walked up to the uh, the apartment door, I can tell you know there was some type of pet in there. There was pets in there. The worst part of the job being hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a hard thing. Yeah. The hard thing is the chemicals we use because they are so strong. So you have to use your mask all the time and sometimes the house are so uh, hot so that's the hard thing to do this kind of job. Even though there's cat pee on just about everything he doesn't want to get rid the only thing he wants to get rid of is he has to get rid of the apartments telling him is um, the carpet and um, he has a like a fold out couch bed that he has to get rid of. We got the full. Go ahead to just. Who these respirators are like breathing through a straw. Got the full. Go ahead to just wipe everything off the counters. There's nothing we're looking for in the kitchen, so it's gonna be a super easy. We got the full. Go ahead to just sweep everything off the floor. We've been working in the kitchen for probably I don't know, maybe five minutes, and we've got. The flooring done here, countertops are gonna take another couple minutes. Uh, we do have to be careful with what's on the dining room table. There's a few things that she's looking for. Um, other than that, it's moving really, really steadily. I think we've only been here maybe two full hours. Um, and we're gonna end up coming back here to do another deep clean. Uh, probably in a week or two once things settle down here. But that's pretty much, pretty much the extent of it. Um, yeah, ay Dios mio. Don't get me wrong, it was, it was dirty and disgusting, but of the tons of trash you went through, I'd probably say more than half was sealed up stuff that hadn't even been opened yet. Not the worst. It gets a lot worse than this.
What I can see, they still plan on keeping them. They still plan on keeping the cat, so. Have you any bag for the carpet? Because that's medical. We need bag uh -huh. for the carpet because it's not so bad. Uh huh. So uh -huh. Yeah, we have to get small pieces and put it. Uh huh. the carpet up quicker than I thought we would. I thought it was going to stick in more places, but it, it came up nice and easy and, uh, with just a little bit of shoveling under the uh, padding. this room um, got rid of any obvious garbage if you follow me upstairs so we labeled with duct tape these are clothing that's staying we'll follow into this room here this room is a pretty much a total gut job there's no more carpet all of the furnishings are gone um, Clothing is staying. That's just something that she's going to have to go through. Books are staying. It's just family and war memorabilia. Um, more packages that we found for when she remodels. And that is actually the next step in the process. Once the deep cleaning is done, she's doing a full-fledged remodel. Um, we'll go on through the living room. All of the garbage is cleared out. Couch is gone. We have little tables that have disappeared. Um, everything that is on the surfaces is just stuff that she has to go through herself, just personal paperwork. 
we'll move back on into the kitchen. Countertops are clear. The sink is clear. Um, there's going to be a deep clean going on tomorrow, which will take care of the majority of the caked on gunk that you see on top of the counters, on the stove, in the sink. The flooring, we did a broom sweep clean because there's a deep clean going on tomorrow. Um, we'll work our way back to the bathroom and you'll be shocked and amazed. <coughs> we actually have a bathroom with running water. Um, the water does run permanently, but it's cool. <laughs> so splash a new face in this freaking Florida heat. Um, clothing, this was majority of clothing and personals. We gutted everything. Uh, the laundry that was in here, she wanted to keep everything. She wanted to keep all the personal. So obvious garbage was another thing that we got rid of in here. And put the clothing in there and she's good to go. The bedroom, you're gonna be shocked and amazed again. We have not really a bed. This was kind of our catch all for the things that she wanted to keep underneath the bed, um, all the way around the flooring, all the way around. <coughs> all of that was covered. I, the best thing I could have done was asked her, is there anything personal that you need out of your bedroom? If not, I can just do a good swoop and be done. And she agreed to it. She's just ready for a new life. The hallway obviously is much better. The flooring is gonna be replaced. House is getting a full gut job. It was her job because the house is so hot, but looks good. We clean everything. Yeah, everything is good. Tomorrow we are gonna decon all the house. Good job. Good job. We just got in there, removed the carpet, scrubbed the floor, and then sealed it with a sealer with paint. It was so good. We, we uh, was working really fast. The house smells much better. It looks good. It looks clean. But uh, the, the, the customer maybe has cleaned everything in that house because the um, cut piece in everywhere. Like Juan said, the, it smells much better in there. But the guy, they need to clean the rest of the house. Like they need to get their air AC unit flushed. Like and and need clean all the way around. Like they should have just, uh, they should have had us come in there and just clean the whole thing. Like right one, they should have had us come in and just disinfect everything.